Hi there, it's Willie D. Have you ever had the bathroom problem with steamy up? It's not too cold yet, but the colder it gets, the seems the worse it gets. So what they say, put in an exhaust fan. I'll give you a really high tech exhaust fan. I got one put in, three hundred dollars plus three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars to to um, put it in. So you know. So you ask yourself, what are you doing? So I put in the exhaust, it doesn't get better. They say put in a better heater on the floor, like on the wall. I put in a heater that's got a timer on it, and you put a timer on it so that you turn it on an hour. Or, and you know, it warms up slowly, and the bathroom's roasting and all that for hours. But there's an easier solution. And I'm going to show you what it is. Here's, here's the bathroom steaming up right now with the shower on. And let's go in and have a look. Here we go. There we go. You can't really see too much. It's hard to show it in the camera lens. But it's steamy up in here now. And it's been running for about seven, eight minutes. Now, the simple solution is, you know, you put in the fan. I got a skylight up here. It's always getting wet. You put in the fan, you put in the heat on the wall and nothing works. It's because the temperature in the room, because it's getting winter, is outside, is cold. Mirrors are all fogged up as well. So I'm going to show you a simple solution right now. Just wait and see, I'll put on this heater here. It's a little plug-in heater. you see how, how quick it'll clear. It's two minutes later. Look at the difference already. The mirrors are beginning to unfog. Of course, they're already wet for me steaming it up, but they're beginning to unfog. It's clear now in here, all because I put on a little heater here. Can save you a lot of money and damage in painting by just buying a little portable heater and plugging it in. So when renovating, I put a plug in the wall for my razor on a little stand there. But I bought this heater for downstairs in the garage in the winter. But I brought it up here and put it in here just for a sec to try it out. Now what's great about it is it switches on, it goes to a certain temperature, and then it shuts off again. I'm going to switch, come in, switch it on for two seconds, go to your shower, and I'll switch off now. Here we go. There we go. There you go. How easy it is. Now, over here I put a brand new heater in the wall. Didn't really help me much. It dries the towels a little bit every morning. But when you're trying to shower, it doesn't work at all. As you can see, the room has cleared up with the heater on. And my skylight has no damage in the left side. But look here, it is dripping wet again, just from just now from testing. So, you know, I have less damage. And this is the damage I had, had, used to have before, see. The mirrors would have stayed clear, except I steamed up the room first, right? So the mirrors stay clear when you're showering, so, you know, this is the way to do it. There you go. For maybe $50 to $80, you can buy a fan that's got a temperature control. You have to get a temperature control in it and put it so that it's quite warm. 18 or 20 degrees. I have it at 18 at the moment. It works quite well. What's happening is, what you're doing is, the temperature of the water, the heat in the room goes away up, and in winter it starts cooling down. Summer it's here, and then it starts cooling down, or it's here. It starts cooling down, and that creates the steam. So when you come in and switch on the heater for a couple of seconds, it comes up and it equalizes again, and there's no steam. It's simple. Extractor fans, board heaters that take ages to heat up, don't work. Just buy yourself a simple uh, temperature-controlled plug-in fan and put it in the bathroom. There you go. My name's Willie D, and that's the tip of the week. Mm -hmm.